before I even started the trade chain, I don't think I've ever sent a piece of mail in my life. So I was kind of daunted by the whole process of what I need to do for that. Today, I thought I'd go over my process of how I like to ship things out. And all you really need are these items here. So first thing I like to do after I've gotten all my trades together is I like to sleeve them all up in any loose sleeves that I have laying around. Penny sleeves should work just fine as well. I've received these and I think they're just fine. I just feel like these give a little bit more protection, but these are okay too. A little extra thing that I like to do that is completely optional, you don't have to do this, is add a little tab on here. That is because when you're putting the cards into a top loader and you're trying to pull it out, it makes it so much easier to just pull it out with a tab. I don't know about you, but I get frustrated trying to squeeze these cards, not worry about bending my cards, and trying to fish these little things out of here without worrying about bending these cards. It just, it just frustrates me. So I like to add this just to make it a little easier for the other person. For these tabs, I just bought them on Amazon for a couple dollars and they come with a bunch. Next thing I like to do for the packaging is I get a piece of scotch tape. I like to tape off the bottom. That way it won't slip out of the card. That's why I put it in upside down. That way, if the card does slip out of the sleeve, it's not gonna touch any sticky tape and damage the card that way. Now, one thing that I think should not be optional and that everyone should do is make a little tab. All you have to do is just fold that over right there and you've made a tab. You can just fold it over. Now it's super easy to open. Otherwise, it's gonna be flat like that and you have to just rip it out or use a knife or something and that, it just makes it easier and it doesn't take that much effort. Another little extra thing I like to throw in there is a land that says, thanks for the trade. Um, it's just extra, you don't have to do that. If I have multiple cards, what I'll do is I'll tape the back of each and I'll put them upside down from each other. That way it gives a little bit more stiffness and rigidity to the card. If the trade is under 50 bucks, I'll send it out in a PWE, plain white envelope. And what I also like to do when sending it out this way is I like to put tape on here and tape it to the envelope on the inside. That way it doesn't shift around too much and have a chance of busting out of the envelope. And I also like to tape the flap down just to make sure that the flaps don't open up somehow. After that, all you need to do is put your address in the top left corner and and then their address in the middle. The stamps go on the top right of the envelope. You should get these stamps right here. These are non-machinable stamps. That means when they process your mail, they're going to stamp it to say not to run it through the machine. And the machine is where it's most likely that your cards can get damaged. So you don't want to send it through those. From my understanding, one of these stamps and a regular stamp should be enough to send these mail out without any issues. So I forgot to mention that these stamps are gonna be a lot more expensive than the other stamps. Regular stamps are around 66 cents. These are around a dollar for the non-machinable ones. So make sure that you use one of those and one of these to be more cost effective. After that, you're good to go. You can just drop this off at your outgoing mail at your mailbox or at whatever post office if you want to, but uh, it's more convenient at my own mailbox. For trades that are $50 or more, I like to send it out in bubble mailer with tracking. It's gonna cost a little more to do it with tracking, but I think it's worth it to give them that peace of mind. I don't really bother with taping it on the inside. If it shifts around, I think it's gonna be fine. It's padded on the inside with little bubble wrap, so it should be fine. I will tape down the seal though, just to make sure that it doesn't open up and the cards can fall out. And what I like to do is just print my own labels online. Um, this is not sponsored by the way, but I like to go on pirateship.com. You'll just have to measure your package and weigh it with the scale. But uh, after that, you just print out your own labels, buy it online, and uh, you can just tape it onto the envelope itself. But after you've got all the labels and everything on there, you're good to go. You can just throw it in your mailbox or in one of the blue boxes, or you can even take it to the post office if you want to. But the easiest is just putting it in your mailbox. Now, if you don't have a printer available, you can go to the postal service and and buy a label there and they can print it out for you and put it on there. And for the rates for shipping, I just go with whatever the cheapest one is. Usually it's about $5 or so uh, and it just gives you tracking. It's usually a little bit more expensive than buying it on Pirate Ship, but I used to do it that way as well. Right now we're at about $326.25 and I believe Gaia's Cradle is around $900, $800 or so. So we're about a third of the way there. That's gonna be it for the video. Hope you got something out of it.